joined by NASA astronaut Michael Good. Michael, thank you for joining us today. Hey, good morning. How are you? Good. Now, Michael, you flew a lot of different aircraft before you were on the shuttle. When you were in these aircraft, could you feel that air had mass, that it was something? Yeah, definitely. I mean, when you take off and you, you know, push the throttles up and get those engines going, uh, you feel the acceleration. And then as you get down to the end of the runway and you pull back on the stick and, and get that lift out, I mean, you, you realize that the, it's the air that's pushing against your control surfaces that are making you uh, move. You also flew twice on the space shuttle. What right. was that like coming back through the atmosphere? So it's a lot faster. So <laughs> here we are up in space and we're coming back into the atmosphere, but we're a glider. We don't have any engines. And so we slow down by smashing into the air at you know, 25 times the speed of sound. So all that energy that you put into the launch, all the fire you see at launch, all that energy has to come out of the system as you're coming back in. So um, as I you know, looked up through the, the windows in the space shuttle, I could see the tail and there were just flames licking off the tail as we're uh, coming through. It's um, like 3,000 degrees outside and it's just an orange glow coming over the nose. And like I said, there's these flames just licking off the tail. There's that much friction um, from all the air molecules. We've got a little hands-on demo that we're gonna do here. It involves a meter stick and just a big piece of paper. Teachers, you can use newspaper for this. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna set the meter stick down here and keep the paper off to the side. So Michael, just kind of push on that meter stick and see what happens. All right, so it just flies off the table. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to increase the surface area here over the top of it. And so we've got the big piece of paper on top. There's a lot of air pushing down on this, more than just the skinny meter stick. And this time, we're gonna have you give that a nice solid whack, and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, ready? One, two, three. There it goes! <laughs> Wait, what happened? <laughs> that didn't work out very well with the meter stick. <laughs> It's a great example of air having mass. When we whacked it, the air held it in place and we were able to break the meter stick. Oh, that's amazing. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> Michael, thanks I for- I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> thanks you, for helping us out today. You're a real karate kid. <laughs> <laughs> thanks.